I grew up in Elkhart, Indiana, smack dab in the Midwest. In Elkhart, Indiana, the name Bontrager carried with it heavy weight. My grandfather was a senator in the state of Indiana. My father was a judge and a lawyer. My uncle was a city council member. And then there's babbling rich. <laughs> and everyone knew the name Bontrager didn't match that at all. No pressure there going up. None at all. Then I grow up with brothers that are all brainiacs. My older brother, National Honor Society in the top 3% of the entire United States. So when I walk in the physics class, after he's crushed it, and I sit down, they think I'm Dan Jr. And they want Rich to come up and share with the class and talk about physics. It doesn't work. So I felt it all the way through my life. So there's the genetic side, my mother stutters. Hmm, Rich stutters. His brothers don't, but Rich does. But there is something in the genetic DNA. The family dynamics are a really big thing. Trauma is a part of it. Oh, at age 10, Rich went through a burn accident. Nearly died. Hmm, Rich was born with bad eyes. They worked on his eyes. They still don't work right today. So by the way, if I talk to you, my eyes do different things. I am looking at you, but you will not do it. I grew up with that. I was a complete wrapped up mess. So how did a guy with all this end up with a 30 year broadcast public speaking career and people now pay me to coach you to shine on camera, to shine on stage and elevate your brand? How did I do it?